वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स अगो प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इथियोपिया पी एम आर बी कंप्लीटेड हिज एड्रेस एट द हाउस ऑफ पीपल्स रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ही रिस्पॉन्डेड टू क्वेश्चन वेरी टफ क्वेश्चन वर आस्ट एंड पी एम आर बी इवेडेड सम क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वर नॉट आंसर्ड क्वेश्चन अबाउट some key issues why didn't he answer these questions what did he say which types of questions were asked i think the prime minister today sent a strong message to the amhara region based groups what did he say about eritrea what did he say about tigray what did he say about tox first round of talks was held between ola and ethiopian government why no second round of talks why is ethiopian government not showing source of funding for building projects like palace he spoke on several issues at the same time he deliberately ignored questions uh, we have details for you an analysis of this uh, pm rb's appearance at the house of representatives first of all it was around 3 and a half hour of uh, uh, interaction of the prime minister with house of representatives and members mp's asked questions questions were about economy inflation crime rate uh displacement uh tagray what is tpl of doing is it making preparations for a new war one of the questions what about relations with eritrea ethiopia eritrea restored relations it was appreciated by member of parliament but he asked what the status of these relations these days very important question we have been hearing rumors that uh, relations are strained ethiopia eritrea are not on good terms that is why this question was asked by a member of parliament what did the prime minister say same member of parliament asked question about red sea we have been hearing about uh, uh, claims that ethiopia could be planning to reclaim a support a question was asked about access to red sea what did the prime minister say what about red sea forum ethiopia is not part of red sea forum forum established in 2019 by uh, some arab and uh, african countries where does ethiopia stand uh, uh, questions uh, about uh, the international developments uh, that world is turning into a multipolar world international powers are fighting for uh, presence uh, uh, in the horn of africa near the horn of africa what did the prime minister say and dasalen chane member of parliament from the amhara region from nama party asked the prime minister to resign he said the government should be dissolved rather an interim government should be put in place new election should be held vmrb addressed several of these questions but main questions went unanswered which questions were not answered by the pm firstly he uh, spoke for around an hour about economy he tried to prove that ethiopian economic crisis uh, is not extraordinary several uh, countries of the world are facing similar crises he said 19 countries of the world are facing inflation related crisis in some countries inflation has risen uh, by 400% uh, by 100% in ethiopia this rise is around 100% and some uh, around 30% uh, and he said that ethiopia was still able to pay back its loan some countries were not able uh, to pay back their loans so basically he tried to project ethiopian economic crisis in the light of global economic crisis that it's not something uh, 
very extraordinary yes problems are there but ethiopians uh, uh, ethiopian government will uh, somehow control the situation ethiopians should support each other wealthy people should support the poor uh, charity work should be done uh, so overall uh, he shared some numbers too uh, numbers in in terms of uh, agricultural input in terms of uh, growth rate in terms of tax to gdp ratio etc uh, so he, he built a case that uh, ethiopian economic crisis is not very severe secondly projects what did he say about projects because we we know that questions are being asked that ethiopia is spending lots of money on building projects and no one knows the source of funding he said which companies are working on these projects uh, sometimes he, he does not know those who are building the projects they know uh, which companies are working some countries and in, in, involved italian or french uh, ue companies are working because those countries uh, committed to build projects so they are building projects they are choosing companies some individual some organizations they are building projects ethiopian government has nothing to do with arranging funds for these projects so it means that he is not sharing any details basically uh, he is not telling from where money is coming to build the palace if foreign powers are investing which foreign powers how many Uh, is being spent what are these foreign powers interests in building uh, projects in addis ababa no details and he said if people cannot support these projects they should keep quiet so this is the answer that if if you have money support the projects otherwise keep quiet very importantly he talked about uh, tegray because a question was asked about the status of implementation of pretoria deal he said two issues should be kept in mind firstly secession is not allowed we told it clearly to them to tigrayans to pl no secession if secession is not allowed then tigrayans should be equal citizens though the two sides fought and he did not say tplf started the war he said no matter how the war started uh, the war happened now it's the time to integrate the grains because we are not allowing secession that is what the grains cannot live as second class citizens of ethiopia they are equal citizens so implementation is being uh, ongoing it's ongoing Tigrayans are being integrated, and secondly, he talked about need of money for demobilization, reintegration. He said, if people are armed and they have nothing to eat, they have no employment, what will they do? Obviously, he is saying that if Tigray fighters are armed and we don't give them jobs, we don't integrate them in regional federal forces. they'll be involved in uh, crimes they'll commit crimes they have to make both ends meet and he in a way uh, spoke in support of uh, tegray tegadem stpl did not say a word in his entire speech which could be seen as an uh, indication of some tension between tegray interim government and ethiopian federal government relation seems to be ideal these days that is what we have been saying though there are some issues like uh, uh reinstatement of the status of tplf etc but on main issues the two are together it seems very important messages from the pm rb to groups in the amhara region pm rb refused to show any flexibility refused to make any compromise about what is happening in shagar houses mosques churches being demolished muslim protested as their mosques had been demolished the sababa police opened fire several were killed but pm rb is showing no flexibility he says illegal is illegal whose houses have been demolished if they are illegal no problem they were illegal only solution is don't be illegal 
it means demolitions will continue. Not a bit of flexibility is shown by the Prime Minister about demolition of buildings in Shagar city. Secondly, no review of policy regarding disbandment of special forces. He said it is ongoing. In two regions, Amhara, Somali, all special force members have been disarmed. There are three main reasons behind this decision. Legal, that uh, the special forces were not established legally. Secondly, financial issues. Thirdly, national unity. By the way, uh, he criticized Amhara region, by the way. He said that uh, groups in the Amhara region say some zones in the Amhara region say they, ha they don't have money to pay salaries to government uh, employees. On one hand, they don't have money to pay salaries to government employees. On the other hand, some groups in the Amhara region, they say that Amhara special forces should not be disbanded. If a region has limited uh, resources, it means that it is unable to pay the salaries of uh, government officials and special force members too. He tried to link disbandment of special forces and national unity, as if these special forces were a threat to national unity. These special forces fought to support the, uh, this concept of national unity. Somali special force fought against Al Shabaab. We saw that last year. Amhara special force fought against Tigray. And back then it was said it was a fight for the survival of the country. And then suddenly they became a threat to national security. That is what he said. No compromise. He said this disbandment will continue. But uh, special force members will become part of regional police or, or federal police. No armed group will be allowed to stay armed in Ethiopia. All armed groups will be dismantled. That is the way forward. No compromise. About Tigray Amhara disputes over territory, he said talk should be had. He did not say that it should be resolved in accordance with the constitution, like Ethiopian government representatives have been saying. He said talks should be had. For lasting peace, talk should be had. If by force of one region can take a disputed territory today, tomorrow the other group might take it back. The cycle will go on. That is why talks should be held for lasting peace, lasting solution to these conflicts. Very interestingly, he compared Sudan war and Ethiopian war. He said uh, in Sudan, uh, people know what is happening, city is being destroyed, but uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force is a very disciplined army. It did not destroy Makale, it did not destroy Aksom. You can visit Aksom, you can visit Makale. Infrastructure is not destroyed, but in Sudan, city is being destroyed. Let me uh, give you my uh, analysis. Yes, in Sudan, uh, infrastructure is being destroyed. Why? Because RSF fighters have decided to fight urban war. They're fighting in Khartoum, Bahri, Umidrman neighborhoods. So that is why Sudan military is conducting air strikes. But in Tigray, Tigray fighters withdrew from main town cities. For the sake of the protection of their people, they withdrew from Makale. They withdrew from Shirek Som in the first round of fighting and they knew they were not in a position to defend themselves in cities. Their people would be vulnerable and they would be uh, sitting ducks in some cases. So, so they tried to defend Humaira, they could not. Then they changed their strategy. They, they decided to fight in mountains. In Tambian, they were true. So it's not that Ethiopian Air Force showed some restraint. It was because of Tigray fighters' uh, deliberate policy. They decided to fight in mountains. They decided to fight uh, in area of their choice. That is why Tigrayan infrastructure, infrastructure of Tigray cities uh, remained largely unharmed, though not 
completely unharmed. Very importantly, viewers, uh, BMRB responded to Dasalan Chane's uh, idea, his proposal that new election should be held, that entire government should design, a transitional government should be established because PP has failed, his leadership has failed. He said, election cannot be held every week. Election will be held after three years. PP does not need opposition parties for any legislation. PP can make all decisions on its own, but it wants to keep opposition parties on board because it can learn from them, it can get new ideas from them. So those who are criticizing the government, those who want a uh, new election should wait for three years. So he refused to resign and he said that uh, PP uh, trusts him. No one ever questioned his leadership uh, at party meetings. Uh, no one can question, by the way. If anyone questions the PM Abhi's leadership, obviously he or she won't be allowed to remain part of the party. Uh, we have seen people uh, sidelined from executive party, central party of PPY because they were raising questions. They were disagreeing with some party policies. Now, lastly, was Eratia, Red Sea, Asap. Very interestingly, BM Abi did not say a word. He did not address the question. Question was very simple: that uh, if you Eritrea restore ties when BM Abi came to power, so what is the status of the relations now? He could easily have said that uh, everything is all right, the two are friendly countries, good neighbors, on good terms. He did not answer the question. So it's clear. Something is wrong. Gravity of this uh, problem can be uh, different according to different people, but there is some tension between Ethiopia and Iraq, it seems. That is why he decided against commenting on the status of Ethiopia Iraq relations. No word on Red Sea. What is Ethiopian government's position about access to Red Sea? Access to a support. Again, silence. Red Sea Forum, we know that in 2019, I think, uh, Middle Eastern countries and uh, uh, African countries with Red Sea coast, they formed Red Sea uh, Forum. Saudi Arabia, uh, Djibouti, Yemen, Eritrea, Sudan. Egypt are part of this forum. Ethiopia is not part of the forum. Ethiopia has been demanding to be part of uh, the forum. Though Ethiopia is landlocked, it does not have Red Sea coast. Uh, question was asked. Again, silence did not say a word. Question about uh, unipolar to multipolar world developments, again, evaded by the Prime Minister. Question about global powers fight for control of Red Sea, control of uh, uh, zones, areas, uh, control of uh, presence in this uh, area. Again, unanswered. So PMRB mainly focused on internal situation in this speech. He refused to make any compromises. Operation in Amhara continue, it will continue. No signs of any dialogue. He did not offer dialogue to the groups in Amhara. Though he spoke uh, for several minutes about peace, peace, negotiations, reconciliation, he did not offer talks to groups in the Amhara. Silence on peace process in Romania. When will second round start? Any progress made in the first round of talks? Silence. Problem. It means that uh, first round of talks could not produce results and government is now conducting security operation. All are defending and uh, no signs of immediate success of Oromia peace process too. Overall, all security operations are set to continue in Ethiopia, in Romia, in Amhara. Relations between Tigray and Addis Ababa 
Tegra regional government, interim government, is he open federal government? Very friendly, trust building. Uncertainty looms over relations between Eritrea and Ethiopia. Internal picture, a rosy picture. PM Abi says nothing extraordinary in terms of economic crisis. Everything will be handled. That is what I understood uh, watching PM Abi's around three and a half hour uh, speech at the parliament. Thank you for watching.